asking yourself what is really happening. You've done the pregnancy test. It is actually showing that it's negative. You are showing a negative pregnancy test. But again, you are feeling all the signs of pregnancy. You are asking yourself, what could be causing this? You are having a negative pregnancy test, but you are still feeling the signs of pregnancy. Gerard Massa, the health educator at the names of the channel, if it's your first time on our channel, on this channel we do create awareness about fertility and reproductive health. If you are trying to get pregnant and you are having issues, then this is the right place for you. So if you do the urine pregnancy test, the urine HCG pregnancy test, and it shows a negative result, but inside you are feeling all the signs of pregnancy, there are high chances that you could have tested very early and thereby you realize that the hormone which actually shows or gives the positive result, which is known as the HCG hormone, it will actually be in very small quantities. Remember, this hormone we are talking about is known as the human chronic gonadotropin hormone. So this hormone is released by the placenta. The placenta is that part the baby uses for feeding when they are growing, when they are still in the womb. That part which the baby uses for feeding is what we call the placenta. The day you get pregnant, that part begins forming due to implantation. As the fertilized egg is attaching on the wall of your uterus, there is that part which is thickened, which is going to actually form the placenta. It is known as the decidua basalis. So if at all the placenta is releasing this HCG hormone, the pregnancy hormone, but it's releasing it in small quantities, then there are high chances that you do the pregnancy test, but it will give a negative result and yet you will actually be pregnant. You may actually be feeling everything. You may be having the cravings for uh, different foods. You may be experiencing breast changes as a woman. You may be experiencing all those changes in your mood, what we call mood swings. You may get all the signs of pregnancy, but on doing the pregnancy test, it shows a negative result. When we are to proceed with this topic, you realize that many times this can actually be determined or it can be confirmed by doing what we call a serum HCG pregnancy test, where the pregnancy test is done by checking your, your, your blood. Let me answer all your questions down below in the comments and remember to subscribe so that you do not miss new videos we release every day on this channel. Let me see you in tomorrow's video. Have yourself a great and fantastic day. God bless and bye-bye. In this video today, we are going to discuss the symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome. Have you been asking yourself, what are the symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome? In this video, we are going to discuss everything about polycystic ovarian syndrome. So without further ado, Gerard Massa, the health educator at the names of the channel you are on, I welcome you. If it's your first time on our channel, on this channel we do create awareness about fertility and reproductive health. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is our topic for today. What are the symptoms of polycystic ovarian syndrome? The first symptom you are most likely going to see is one of irregular periods. When you are experiencing irregular periods, you are supposed to see your periods this month, maybe today, but you've not seen your periods. Two weeks pass by, you, are, you have not yet again seen your periods. This could actually be an indicator that there is something happening in your system. It could be a sign of polycystic ovarian syndrome. But remember, there are many other causes of irregular periods. But if you experience irregular periods, it could be among the signs that you could actually be developing what we call polycystic ovarian syndrome. Next symptom for polycystic ovarian syndrome is that there's going to be difficulties getting pregnant. Remember, we've said that you could begin developing irregular periods. If the periods are irregular, then it means that you may actually find it difficult to track your most fatal days because the periods are irregular. So it brings us to the next point of difficulties getting pregnant. You may try to get pregnant 
and things are not working out well, this could be that you need to take time to track your menstrual cycle, to track your safe days and your danger days. So, difficulties getting pregnant is our next sign of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Next sign of polycystic ovarian syndrome is there's going to be what we call excessive hair loss. Most doctors call this alopecia. If you are experiencing hair loss at a very high rate, then this could actually be a sign that you are actually having polycystic ovarian syndrome. Remember, there are many other causes of hair loss. For example, if you have hormonal imbalances or hormonal changes, high estrogen levels, you could actually also experience hair loss. But in this case, we are discussing polycystic ovarian syndrome. If you are experiencing hair loss, you have irregular periods, you are having difficulties getting pregnant, this could actually be a sign that you could actually be having what we call polycystic ovarian syndrome. The next, the next symptom we are going to discuss about is acne. In most cases, you may actually begin developing pimples or lots of oily, oily skin. And this could actually also be an indicator that you could be having what we call polycystic ovarian syndrome. The next symptom for polycystic ovarian syndrome is rapid weight gain. You may actually begin putting on weight you as a woman and you may ask yourself why are you getting why are you putting on too much weight? Why are you having difficulties getting pregnant? Why are you having irregular menses and why are you losing your hair at a very fast rate? It is high time you did checkups for polycystic ovarian syndrome. What are the checkups for polycystic ovarian syndrome? I will discuss more in our next video, but in a nutshell, the first test for polycystic ovarian syndrome is what we call a pelvic algorithm. <laughs> Jewel Nasa, the health educator, Gemania Agachano, YouTube channel of the era, we want our local resources, you get pissed in the great subscribing day or the men who come in videos. We don't need a cadabo, we don't have a video, the state I own, we can have a soul, we want our daughter put over me, and no one see, who was singing a mundilla, nothing, a woman who knows which young will be tumbler. あたりにしたらね、ピリオドズタンチョコバンガテズリクテレダブロンジンニョンガテオリムチャーラウチョコレンダダランティワンデータキサオコバンガウェケベジワオリムコバンガゲンダムトワリドデニドクターオナコラチ
First of all, I have to go to the house and 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 go to Kuzuri ba 